Hey everybody, today is Monday, July 8th, 2013, and today Apple released iOS 7 Beta 3, which I have installed on my iPhone 5 here. I figured I'd go through a hands-on review for you guys and give you some of the new features that Apple included in iOS 7 Beta 3, as well as some of the new bug fixes that they included. This update, just to give you a pre-warning, is mostly bug fixes, so I'm going to go ahead and just talk through a lot of them, and then I'll go ahead and do a later review video with some of the new features that I find as I use the operating system further in the week. So first, basically iCloud has been updated. iCloud has been updated with better syncing and it's been improved across all apps. So if you go into settings and then you go to iCloud, you can use it. It will work better and it will actually sync better uh, over all of the apps and you and throughout the device. Also, a new fix has come for messages. If you actually had an empty messages list or if you weren't receiving messages and attachments, uh, either adding them or viewing them made messages crash. Apple has fixed that crash. Also, network settings have been improved. Uh, the connectivity has been made a little bit better. Some apps were not actually multitasking. Uh, correctly, so I'll go ahead into multitasking here. And so some apps were actually not multitasking correctly and uh, not updating in the background. So they did actually add better refreshing for apps in the background. And uh, also some new apps, it's the apps which will actually show all of your suspended apps uh, that are running in the background rather than just some of them. I know some people were having a bug with that, so they did fix that bug. Uh, also, the auto lock and the password or, or passcode have been updated and made a little bit more secure and fixed in that regard. Uh, users, I know I had this issue, who were not getting push notifications or who were getting double push notifications every time they got one notification. That has been fixed uh, by Apple. Uh, as it Also, reminders with voice voice over functionality has been updated, so you can actually set a reminder using voice over functionality. The Notes app, the Music app, and other apps have been made less buggy and quicker. And finally, in terms of the design, the font on the uh, whole system has been made a little bit bigger. And something I actually noticed is if you zoom in here, you, if you look at the top, the font is a little bigger and you zoom in and it gets a little smaller actually. So that's another animation there. Uh, the folders have been made more transparent here in terms of the actual color of the folder. Uh, the calendar and all apps have been made quicker. And I mean, overall, basically, as a first look review, guys, and hands on here, this is a lot of bug fixes. And in terms of new features, I haven't really seen anything that new. Uh, in beta 2, which was released on June 24th, they did include voice memos, which is right, uh, where is this? Right there, as you can see, voice memos. And they also actually added more Siri options. But in this actual update, they really focused on fixing the bugs. And I have yet to actually find some really new features, which I'm going to be going over the next couple days and finding them on my device for you guys here. But overall, this was a review and a hands-on of iOS 7 beta 3. It is mostly bug fixes, so hopefully you enjoyed that. I know it's a lot smoother. Uh, most apps don't crash anymore. Almost every app I have on my phone works. Uh, everything works a lot quicker. It feels a lot more solid. The design and the fonts have been updated and there is a little bit more shadows. And I can tell that the design is overall way more stable now. But in terms of new features, I'm going to have to find those for you guys and do a second video, uh, which will be a whole full new features review of iOS 7 Beta 3. And uh, so basically... If you enjoyed this video, be sure to rate thumbs up and favorite it, as well as subscribe for more content so you don't miss my next video on iOS 7 Beta 3, which I will be going through the new features and more specific bug fixes that I find. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my vlog channel in the description. Those are great ways to follow me as I update my YouTube channel here and those links on a regular basis. So check those out. And also if you're interested in getting uh, paid iOS and Android apps for free, go ahead and check out the link in the description. But this was a first look review of iOS 7 Beta 3. I will upload a new video going over the new features and new bug fixes in later in the week. But overall, I think it's a pretty solid update. A lot of bug fixes were included. And hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. And stay tuned for more on iOS 7 or Apple in general. Peace.